This video is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com. In this tutorial, we're gonna jump into Adobe Premiere and isolate certain colors of a shot and color correct them individually. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, this is a really cool essential tutorial because we're gonna be isolating certain parts of an image that's gonna allow you to color grade those specific groups individually, which is important if you wanna bring more attention on a certain object or if you wanna create separation within your color grades. So before we get into that color grading process, I wanna say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. So here we are inside of Adobe Premiere, and we have our awesome ungraded shot here of our talent Ashley. And this is a good clip because we have a lot of color contrast in this clip. So what we can do here is go to effects, and we'll come here and we'll type in Lumetri color. And we'll grab the Lumetri color color correction effect onto our clip. And this is just gonna be a very simple basic color correction. And I'll go right to the color tab up here at the top and I'll come here to my basic correction. And we're just gonna do a very basic, you know, correction and maybe add some contrast in here. And then maybe bring down the shadows. Let's bring up the highlights and we'll change the color temperature. So we just did our quick correction and now I'm ready to start isolating certain elements in here so we can start controlling the colors and making things pop and why would you really want to do this so this allows us to easily select certain elements and make them pop from the background and we're able to control all of the colors and even the color contrast so what we will want to do is go back to our editing tab and go to Lumetri color and reapply this effect and we're gonna build this in layers and I can go back to the color tab for now and do this so go to HSL secondary and I'm gonna come here to key and we're gonna come here to key and we're gonna get a set of eyedropper icons and even color selection. So for example, I can just select on yellow and check on this box right here next to color gray. And this will tell us what is selected and everything is selected. So what I'm gonna do is grab the eyedropper tool here and I'm gonna just select her shirt. And only her shirt is selected, but not all of it is selected. So what we can do here is grab the plus tool right here and start selecting in some of her shirt that was missing. Okay, so we'll say this is good enough, but we have a little bit of refining to do. So what we can do is come here to the bottom layer. So this is hue, saturation, and lightness. So what we can do here is maybe bring in the lightness. There's a little tab here, and we can see how much gets selected and deselected. We come here to saturation, see if we can deselect some of the elements in here. So her skin is starting to disappear by a little bit. That's fine. And, you know, this should be good enough. So what we can do here is come here to blur and refine this. So we want this to be blurred out and maybe to like 10 or so. So now yellow is pretty much selected and we can color correct this individually. So I'll uncheck the color gray here and we'll come here to our color correction and we can boost up the yellow by bringing that wheel there. And you can see if I come here and turn off our layer is that now we just color created the shirt. All right, very cool. Then what we can do is apply another Lumetri color effect. So I'll just duplicate this and I'll reset it. And what we do is grab the blue of the pants here and you know check this on. And we'll grab our plus tool here and just start adding in colors. All right, that should be good enough. And I'll do the blur again. And we can even increase the denoise on this a little bit and this will help refine the blur. And once again, we now that we have selected, I can bring this over to the blues. And we even have some controls down here like temperature and we can just maybe move this over to the blues by a little bit. We can even increase the contrast because it's separately selected and it definitely adds a new look to everything. So I'll just do a little before and after. You can see it just adds like a punch of color to uh, her pants and that's awesome. And we see with each uh, clothing is, you know, definitely getting popped out and it looks awesome. All right, very cool. So now if I go ahead and turn off our isolated colors, you can see it definitely makes our talent Ashley pop out a lot more and it makes a huge difference. So this is how you can isolate colors inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and be able to color correct them individually. Now, of course, I personally suggest using DaVinci Resolve when you're color grading, but if you are a Premiere user and you want to be able to do this in the program, this is how you can isolate colors and color grade them individually. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.